Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to go through the steps to do a clean installation of Windows 10 with the November 2019 update, also known as version 1909. A clean installation is just a way to erase everything on your computer and installing a fresh copy of Windows 10. This will not only help you to avoid upgrade problems, but you will be starting with a new installation which can improve system performance and fix existing issues. If you're going to use this option, it is always recommended to create a full backup of your computer before proceeding. You can check the video description below to find a link to the video with the steps to do a full backup of your computer and additional information such as the release date for this update and more. In this tutorial, I'll be using the media creation tool to create a USB bootable media to install Windows 10 version 1909. To start, you need to download the media creation tool from this Microsoft support website. You will find the link in the video description below. Just remember that if you download the tool before the November 2019 update is available, you won't be able to install this new version. Once the November 2019 update is available, you can come to this page and click the download now button to get the media creation tool. Once you do that, double click the installer to launch the app. Click that set button. Because we're doing a clean installation of Windows 10, select the Create Installation Media for another PC and click Next. If applicable, clear this option and select the language, edition and architecture. If you have a mixed environment for architecture, you can use both. So you'll be able to install Windows 10 on a 32-bit machine as well on a 64-bit computer. Click Next. Select the USB option and click Next. Select the flash drive. And if it is not listed right here, you can always click the refresh drive list to further set up to detect the drive. Once you select the drive, click Next. Once the media has been created, click the Finish button. Keep the USB flash drive connected and reboot your computer. Also, you need to make sure that your PC can boot from USB. Usually, to boot your computer from USB, you need to change the BIOS or UEFI settings, which pretty much is different on every system. So make sure to check your PC manufacturer for more details. However, typically, you can access these settings by pressing one of the functions key like F2, F10, F12, or the delete key or escape key on the keyboard as you start your computer. After restarting your computer with the bootable media in the Windows 10 setup, click the next button. Click the install now button. If Windows 10 was already installed and properly activated, you don't need to enter a product key. After the installation, Windows 10 will reactivate automatically. To continue, click the I don't have a product key option. If this is the case, select the correct version of Windows 10 that was previously installed and activated on your computer. In my case, was Windows 10 Professional. Click Next. Check the Accept the License term and click Next. Select the Custom option to perform a clean installation of Windows 10 with the November 2019 update or version 1909. If you're about to do a clean installation of Windows 10 on a device that already had a Windows 10 installation, it is best to delete the partitions of the drive. So in this case, I have two partitions on this drive, so I'm going to select each one and I'm going to click the delete button. Just remember that removing partitions will also delete any data stored on those drives. Also, keep in mind that you only need to remove the partitions on the hard drive that you're about to install Windows 10. If you have multiple hard drives, you don't need to delete the partitions on them. Once you're ready to install Windows 10, select the drive with the unallocated space and click Next. And now the setup will take over and it will install a fresh copy of Windows 10 with the November 2019 update on your computer. Now we're going to go through the out-of-box experience to finish setting up the installation. To get started, select your region and click Yes. Select your keyboard layout and click Yes. 
I'm only using one keyboard layout, so I'm going to skip this option. If this is your personal computer, select the Setup for Personal Use option, and then click Next. In this section, you're going to create a Windows 10 account, which you can do with a Microsoft account or without a Microsoft account using the offline option, which is usually known as the local account. So here, type your Microsoft account, phone number, or Skype ID. If you don't have a Microsoft account, you can always click the Create Account option and follow those steps to create the account. Once you type your Microsoft account, click the Next button. Type the password for the account, or you can also use the Microsoft Authenticator app if it is already set up on your phone. Click the Create PIN button and create a PIN that you will use to sign into your account. If you want to keep using your password, just click Cancel to continue. Once you created the PIN, click the OK button to continue. If you want to enable Timeline on your installation of Windows 10 to access your activity history across computer, click Yes. Otherwise, click No to continue. You can also connect your Android phone to your computer, but that's a step that you can do later. If you already use OneDrive, you now have the option to backup your desktop documents and pictures folder to OneDrive. If that's something you want, just click Next. Or if you just want to keep your files on your PC, click Only Save to this PC option to continue. In my case, I am just want to protect my data, so I'm going to click the Next button. As part of the Windows 10 setup process, Microsoft also now offers an Office 365 home trial. If you want to use it, click Yes. And if you already have a product key, you can use that option right here. And that should install the Office 365 apps on your computer automatically. In my case, I'm going to skip this option. So I'm just going to click No. And this section is where you can allow or deny the use of Cortana on Windows 10. You also have the option to use Cortana hands-free using the Hey Cortana voice command. You can check that if you want to, otherwise leave it and check. And for this case, I'm just going to clear that option and I'm going to use Cortana on my PC. So I'm going to click the Accept button. Here you can select your privacy settings or your privacy settings are turned on by default, but you can always turn them off and you will have a description of what will happen if you turn that specific feature off. Make sure to scroll down to get to all the settings that you can customize on Windows 10. And once you're done choosing your privacy settings, click the Set button to continue. And that's pretty much how you do a clean installation of Windows 10, in this case with the November 2019 update. You can always check that you're running the latest version of Windows 10 opening the settings app and then on system on the about page you can now tell that you're running version 1909 another way to tell is to open start and look for the run command and then type the win bear command which will also let you know that you're running version 1909 and now that you're back on the desktop, the last thing left to do is to reinstall your applications and restore your files from backup. Please make sure to check the video notes for important information such as the release date for this new version of Windows 10 and much more. Remember to like the video, share your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.